Salah Ray was a Turkish privateer and Ottoman admiral. He is alternatively referred to as Salah Reis, Saleh Ray, Salek Ray and Kayla Reyes in several European resources, particularly in Spain, France and Italy. In 1529, together with Aydan Reis, he took part in the Turkish-Spanish battle near the Isle of Formentera, during which the Ottoman forces destroyed the Spanish fleet, whose commander, Rodrigo Portunda, died in combat. In 1538 he commanded the right wing of the Turkish fleet at the naval battle of Preveza, where the Ottoman forces under Barbarossa Hay Red and Pasha defeated the Holy League of Charles V under the command of Andrea Doria. In 1551, due to his success in the conquest of Tripoli together with Turgut Race and Sinar Pasha, he was promoted to the rank of Pasha and became the Bailiby of Algiers and the Baria Bailiby of the Ottoman West Mediterranean fleet. Background and early career Saleh Race was born in Biga, a village between Kanakale and Edremit, near Kazdagi to the south of ancient Troy, on the Aegean coast of Turkey. In around 1488, at a very young age he joined the fleet of Oruk Race, the most famous of the Turkish corsairs and privateers from Anatolia who sought fortune in the West Mediterranean by operating from their bases on the Barbary coast. He gained experience in seamanship as a crew member of the Barbarossa brothers, Oruk Race and Hizir Race, and soon became one of their chief lieutenants. Saleh Race was around 30 years old when Oruk Race died in 1518 during a battle against the Spaniards in Algeria. From 1518 onwards, he joined the fleet of Hizir Race, who inherited the title of Barbarossa from his older brother, Barbar Oruk. In 1520 he went to Jabar together with his ear race and Turgut race, and later that year assaulted Bone, which was under Spanish control, career in the Ottoman navy. In 1529, commanding a force of 14 galleots, Saleh race assaulted the Gulf of Valencia before joining the fleet of Aydan race which took part in the Turkish-Spanish war near the Isle of Formentera, where the Ottoman forces destroyed the Spanish fleet, whose commander, Rodrigo Portunda, died in combat. During the war, Saleh race captured the galley of Captain Tortusa and took the son of Admiral Portunda, the Spanish commander, as a prisoner of war. The Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent summoned Barbarossa to Constantinople, and he set sail in August 1532, with Saleh Race as an officer in Barbarossa's fleet. Having raided Sardinia, Bonifacio in Corsica, the islands of Monte Cristo, Elba and Lampedusa, the fleet captured 18 galleys near Messina and learned from the captured prisoners that Andrea Doria, the Genoza admiral in the service of the Emperor Charles V, was on his way to Breveza. Barbarossa proceeded to raid the nearby coasts of Calabria and then sailed towards Preveza. Doria's forces fled after a short battle, but only after Barbarossa, accompanied by Saleh Race and Murat Race, had captured seven of their galleys. Barbarossa arrived at Preveza with a total of 44 galleys, but sent 25 of them back to Algiers and headed to Constantinople with 19 ships one of which was commanded by Saleh Race, who, along with Murat Race, was one of the 19 men received by Suleiman the Magnificent at Top Karpi Palace. Suleiman appointed Barbarossa Captain Idayar of the Ottoman Navy and Bailey B of North Africa. Barbarossa was also given the government of the Sanjak of Rhodes and those of Euboea and Shios in the Aegean Sea. Saleh Race, on the other hand, was promoted to the rank of Commodore. In 1533 Barbarossa and Saleh Race operated together against the Spanish-controlled ports in the Mediterranean Sea. In July 1535 Saleh Race was appointed by Barbarossa Hay Red and Pasha for the task of defending Tunis. Accompanied by Kaffir Race and very few Turkish soldiers, Saleh Race encountered the forces of Girolamo Tatavilla, Count of Sarno, whose fortress was near the city walls of Laguleta. Saleh Race pretended to retreat and eventually routed and trapped the forces of Tatavilla, who followed him. Tatavilla was killed in combat, and his fortress was captured by the Turks. 
Still in July 1535, Saleh Reis assisted Hassan Reis, the son of Barbarossa, in governing Algiers. In 1536 Barbarossa and Saleh Reis were called back to Constantinople to take command of the Ottoman naval attack on the Habsburg Kingdom of Naples. In July 1537 the Turks landed at Otranto and captured the city, as well as the fortress of Castro and the city of Ugenta in Apulia. In August 1537, Lutfi Pasha and Barbarossa led a huge Ottoman force, in which Saleh Reis also took part, that captured the Aegean and Ionian islands belonging to the Republic of Venice, namely Cyrus, Aegina, Ios, Paros, Tinos, Carpathos, Cassos and Naxos. In the same year Barbarossa captured Corfu from Venice and once again raided Calabria. These losses caused Venice to ask Pope Paul III to organize a Holy League against the Ottomans. Battle of Preveza. In February 1538, Pope Paul III succeeded in assembling a Holy League against the Ottomans, which was to be commanded by Andrea Doria, the chief admiral of Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, Saleh Reis. Now at Bauria Sankake be commanded the 24 galleys which formed the right wing of the Ottoman fleet during the Battle of Preveza in September 1538, in which the numerically inferior Turkish forces of Barbarossa Hay Red and Pasha won an overwhelming victory over the Holy League under the command of Andrea Doria. In one of the most famous incidents of the battle, Saleh Reis and his men boarded and assaulted the Galeone di Venezia. The huge Venetian flagship under the command of Alessandro Condal Miro, together with two other Venetian galleys which were drifted away from the rest of the Venetian fleet due to the heavy loss of oarsmen which resulted from the bitter fighting, recapture of Castel Nuovo and the conquest of Venetian islands in the Aegean. In June 1539 Saleh Ray set sail from Constantinople with 20 galleys and near Cape Malio joined the fleet of Barbarossa which was appointed with the mission of recapturing Castel Nuovo from the Venetians. On the way to Castel Nuovo their combined fleet captured the islands of Skiathos, Skiris, Andros and Seraphos from the Venetians. In August 1539 Barbarossa Hay Red and Pasha, Turgut Race and Saleh Race laid siege to Castel Nuovo and took the city back. They also captured the nearby castle of Risen and later assaulted the Venetian fortress of Catero and the Spanish fortress of Santa Veneranda near Pesaro. The Turkish fleet later took the remaining Christian outposts in the Ionian and Aegean seas. Venice finally signed a peace treaty with Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent in October 1540, agreeing to recognize the Turkish territorial gains and to pay 300,000 gold ducats. Operations on the French coast and Catalonia According to some Turkish resources, in 1540, Saleh Reis was together with Turgut Reis in Girolata, Corsica, where the two were captured by the combined forces of Giannettino Doria, Giorgio Doria and Gentile Virginia Orsini while repairing their ships at the harbour. These sources also mention that Saleh Reis and Turgut Reis were both forced to become or slaves in Genoza ships until they were liberated by Barbarossa Hay Red and Pasha in 1544, who threatened to attack the port of Genoa with his massive fleet of 210 ships. French, Italian and Spanish sources, however, acknowledge the captivity and liberation of Turgut Reis but make no mention of the captivity of Saleh Reis. In fact, according to French, Italian and Spanish sources, Saleh Reis took part in the Franco-Ottoman conquest of Nice on 5 August 1543, which was commanded by Barbarossa Hay Red and Pasha. According to the same sources, following the conquest of Nice, Saleh Reis commanded the Ottoman force of 20 galleys and three fastus which assaulted the Costa Brava in Catalonia, Spain, in that same year. In early October 1543, Saleh Reis landed his troops at Rosas and sacked the city. The following day, Saleh Reis appeared at the Medis Islands about one kilometer off the coast of La Restartet, before proceeding to Palafrugel and Palamos. 
the latter being severely sacked following a fierce battle for its capture. From there Salé race proceeded to the nearby San Juan de Palamos, which was likewise sacked and captured the Spanish galley Bribonia off the coast of Calil, a fishing village in the area. He later landed his troops at Emperies in Cadaques, capturing and sacking both cities before sailing to Algiers. He was spotted sailing together with Barbarossa in the spring of 1544. Operations in Sicily, Malta and the West Mediterranean In mid-June 1548 Salé race appeared at Capo Passaro in Sicily with a force of 18 ships, before appearing at Gozo in Malta with 12 ships, having sent six of his ships to Algiers where they would join Turgut race. Upon the order that he received from Husea Celebi, in the autumn of 1550 Andrea Doria contacted Salé Reis and attempted to convince him for serving Spain instead of the Ottoman Empire, but failed. Conquest of Tripoli and subsequent promotion to the rank of Barria Bailey B of Algiers. In June-August 1551, Saleh Reis joined the fleet of Sanar Pasha and Turgut Reis, and played an important role in the conquest of Tripoli, which had been a possession of the Knights of St. John since 1530, when it was given to them by Charles V of Spain. He bombarded the fortress of the Knights from a distance of approximately 150 steps, eventually forcing Gaspar de Villers, their commander, to surrender. Salé Reis returned to Constantinople, where, due to his success in the conquest of Tripoli, he was promoted to the rank of Bauria Bailey B of the Ottoman West Mediterranean Fleet and was appointed as the Bailey B of Algiers in 1551. In April 1552 he reached Algiers, and later set sail towards Sicily, where he captured a Maltese ship. In the summer of 1552, he joined the forces of Turgut Race who landed at the Gulf of Naples, and together with him later assaulted the coasts of Lazio and Tuscany. From there Salé Ray sailed to Marseille, before capturing and sacking the island of Mallorca, marching overland to the Sahara Desert. From Mallorca he sailed back to Algiers, where he prepared his troops to march overland to the Sahara Desert and expand the Ottoman Vilaya of Algeria inwards. The troops advanced south and captured the city of Tufgort, built around an oasis in southern Algeria. From there the Turks marched towards Wagla, finding a ghost city whose inhabitants fled upon hearing their arrival. Re-establishment of the Watasid king in Fez. In 1549, the new ruler of Morocco, Muhammad Ash Sheikh successfully ousted the Watasid Sultan Ali Abu Hassan. The latter ruled only over Fez and its region and had just declared himself a vassal of the Ottomans. Ash Sheikh even captured Tilmsen ending the Abdelwaida dynasty rule over the city. He was now advancing further east in Algeria and attacked the Ottoman Turks. This triggered an Ottoman counter-attack, who recaptured Tilmsen in 1552 and advanced to Fez where they re-established the Watasid king Ali Abu Hassan in 1554. In turn he rewarded them with the port of Badis on the Mediterranean coast, which had been previously captured from the Spanish in 1522. But this lasted only a few months as in September 1554, Muhammad Ash Sheikh recaptured Fez and defeated Abu Hassan and his Ottoman allies. In the Battle of Tadla, return to Algeria. In 1555 the French navy, then allied with the Ottoman Empire of Suleiman the Magnificent, sent a detachment to Algiers for asking the assistance of Salé race against the Spaniards. Salé race accepted the request and conceded 22 of his galleys, carrying Turkish soldiers and cannons, to the service of the French fleet. Later, with his remaining force of 40,000 men, he laid siege to Bugi. After 14 days of continuous artillery bombardment, he destroyed the two main defences of the city walls, the fortress of Virgileta which controlled the entrance of the port, and the Spanish castle which stood right in front of the city walls. 
the Spanish governor of Bugui, Alfonso di Peralta, decided to make peace with Sale race instead of continuing to defend the city until the bitter end. According to the pact, the Turks allowed all the surviving Spanish inhabitants of Bugui to safely return to Spain with their belongings, and the Spanish forces to take away their cannons and weapons. However, even though the governor, Alfonso di Peralta, could sail safely to Valencia, together with 20 of his high-ranking officials, on a French ship, some of the Spanish civilians were captured and enslaved by the corsairs operating in the area. Alfonso di Peralta was arrested as soon as he entered the port of Valencia and Charles V ordered his execution for treason, which took place in a public square of Valladolid. Later that year, Sale Race conquered Penon de Vélez de la Gomera from the Spaniards, before sailing to Constantinople where he was received by the Sultan. Sieges of Oran, 1556 and 1563. In 1556 he left Constantinople and set sail towards the Spanish stronghold of Oran in Algeria, which he assaulted with a force of 30 galleys. He destroyed the Spanish forts defending the entrance of the port, but could not capture the city itself due to the fierce resistance by the local population as well as the Spanish army garrison. He then retreated his fleet to Algiers. In April 1563, commanding a force of 10,000 soldiers, he once again laid siege to Oran and Merzel K. Acute B.I.R., this time also with the assistance of Turgut Reis who supported him with a force of 20 ships and 20 pieces of siege artillery. Oran once again defended itself to the bitter end, until it was saved by a large Spanish force which arrived in June but the Turks bombarded and destroyed the fortress of Merzel K. Acute B.I.R. Siege of Malta, 1565. In August 1565 Saleh Reis took part in the Turkish siege of Malta and commanded a force of 15,000 soldiers which attacked Fort St. Michael. Towards the end of August he managed to set up a powerful mine which breached the walls of Castilla and attacked the Bastion with 4,000 men. In the meantime, Lala Kara Mustafa Pasha commanded the main attack against Fort St. Michael, until he was almost killed by a cannon fire which severely wounded him. Saleh Reis then took his place and placed his troops around the ruins of the Bastion of Castilla. The Turks managed to capture Fort St. Elmo on the main island, but at the cost of too many casualties including the famous Turgut Reis who was 80 years old when he died in Malta shortly before the capture of Fort St. Elmo. The siege was eventually lifted when a large Christian fleet that was assembled to support the Maltese knights reached the island. Death in Algiers, 1568 The siege of Malta was also the final mission of Saleh Reis, who was around 77 years old at that time. He died in Algiers three years later, in 1568, close to the age of 80, just like his lifelong friend Turgut Reis. Interestingly, Turgutlu and Salali are two neighboring town centers within the province of Manisa in the Aegean region of Turkey. Legacy Saleh Reis was from the generation of great Turkish seamen in the 16th century such as Kemal Reis, Oruk Reis, Barbarossa Hay Red and Pasha. Turgut Race, Kurtaglu Muslahidin Race, Piri Race, Pyle Pasha, Murat Race and Sadi Ali Race. He played an important role in the Battle of Preveza which secured the Turkish domination of the Mediterranean during his lifetime, until the Battle of Lepanto which took place three years after his death. He vastly enlarged the Ottoman territories in northwestern Africa and extended them to the coasts of the Atlantic Ocean. Several warships of the Turkish Navy have been named after Saleh Reis.